Hey YouTube. Well, um, it's been a while, pretty long while, two weeks or so. Um, but in the past two weeks I've been pretty busy. So that's why I haven't really made a video or anything. Um, but anyways, today um, I wanted to talk about um, water lettuce and how to get it to grow like really well. And I guess really it's not just water lettuce, like also floating pla plants in general, but um, I'm, I'm bas I basically just have water lettuce, duckweed, and there's just like a couple of frog, frog bit right there. But um, I'm just gonna be talking about water lettuce. Um, well, before, in, like in, or I've noticed that lots of people who keep water lettuce in their fish tanks, they're, they're not doing really that well. And it's just like, um, their roots aren't really that long or anything, or they're not like this. See, the roots are like, it's like less than half an inch or something like that. Um, and it's, that's what was happening with me before, is that my water lettuce, it was staying small, but it was spreading a lot. Like, that's why I had lots of them that are just like this size, or maybe just a little bit bigger. And they're just like spreading, but not getting any bigger than they were. Um... But, um, when I put a couple of water, like a water lettuce, or a couple of them outside in a clear past bla plastic bin, um, they grew really well, and they're, the leaves are getting bigger, and the roots are getting longer, like about that size, or like longer too. And then when I put them back inside, they wouldn't do as well. And then, um... As you know, I had like a big water lettuce, like, I don't know, problem, like there was so much, it was like duckweed kind of in, in those blue miniature ponds outside. Um, well, I moved some into here a couple weeks ago, and um, they're doing pretty good, but then like a, last week, um, I got this light, um, which is a compact fluorescent T5HO light fixture and I, I got it for free when I got the 75 but anyways I moved this down here and I took these two out so this was closer to the water surface and within literally two days there was like a really big difference and the water lettuce grew to about like this size like they they start they were like maybe around like this maybe a little bit less and then um, they went from that and turned into like this size and their roots are longer and then it's been like a week since then and then there's now they're now like this huge and they're sending out flowers and stuff like see there's some little flowers they're flowering and frog bit was, do was doing pretty good too on um, sending out little baby frog bits but um and look at the roots they're very long like they were all like this right here but now they're all down here and this is a really overgrown tank but I found out it's really because of the light and if I wanted these to get any bigger and the roots to get longer which I don't um, I could put this down here again put the light down here but I just put it back up because it was really too much I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this tank it's like so overgrown I need to remove some plants um, but, yeah, like, and the, lar like, the water lettuce of the longest roots is actually in this tank, in the shrimp tank, and this is just a stock light, but it's 15 watts or so something like that. It was meant for, like, a 20-gallon or a 25-gallon, and as you can see, the roots here are very long, like, the actual plant's right here, and it goes all the way down, it goes like that. Um... But, look, look how long this is. <laughs> that's very long. Like, that's, let's see. Hmm. It's, it's, it's about, I think the tank is like 12 inches tall or 10 inches tall or something like that. And that's how tall the roots are. Let's see. Like, they're actually taller than the jungle valve that I have. But, yeah, 
So it's the water lettuce in this tank is doing really well as the as well as the ones in the the twenty gallon. But really the and I don't put any I don't dose any fertilizers or do anything with the tanks. All I have is just light and some tanks have dirt dirt. Um but really if you want floating plants um to do well, um actually like including water lettuce, all you have to do is just have not that much water movement like this. Like this is kind of like um, messing up with them and this light's not really that good either. Just a single bulb. Um, but really you had to have a really good light. Not really good, but just like a decent light that's pretty bright. Like this. This is like 64 watts and it's a compact fluorescent. And um... These these bulbs are meant for salt water. It's a 10,000 K in actinic or whatever bulb. There's two of them, so yeah. But the the light really helped with these plants. I mean, look at this. It's pretty nice. And then now I'm like overrun with more water lettuce, so I'm throwing them down here in these tanks. And yeah, Pro I don't know, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I got. And um, I should have another video coming up this weekend at the latest Monday. I'm hoping at the latest Monday, but maybe Tuesday. Um, but I'm going to try to take it tomorrow because I won't be here this weekend. But I'll try to up up upload it, I don't know, if I take it tomorrow. But yeah, just look out for that video. And, um, because you guys should like it, hopefully. And, yeah, that's it. Peace.